morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday, about 11 o'clock, and we got a lot late start, so off we go. But first, breakfast at McDonald's. We don't tell you guys thank you enough, thank you. so thank you. thank you. Have a great day, not a problem. Welcome to Tullahoma, Tennessee. Tullahoma was founded back in 1852 when it was only a work camp for the new Nashville and Chattanooga Railroad that was coming through there. Its name is derived from the Choctaw language and it means red rock. Now, the Decker family says no. They say that Peter Decker, who donated the land for the uh, railroad right away, was given the right to name two stations. One he named Deckard after himself, and the other is Tullahoma. Tullahoma was the name of Deckard's favorite horse, which had been named for a Choctaw chief captured by Deckard's grandfather. By the way, there was a town in Mississippi called Tullahoma, which is now called Granada. So the earliest people here, of course, were farmers, and they brought slaves with them. They had plantations for tobacco and hemp, stuff like that. Very near the area was a spring called Bottle Spring, and that supplied water for the for the locomotives. Now, it is on the map today called Big Spring. Now, the spring was used later on uh, for the health and tourist attraction, and the town declared itself a spa facility. If you remember places like Hot Springs, Arkansas, made all their money off of the baths and the drinking of the water from the mineral springs. This town is seeped in history, Civil War history, World War II history, every kind of history you can think about. Uh, I have put a URL in the description here, and if you click on that, you can go read all of this history on their uh on the Tullahoma webpage. Now, for you people who are aviation buffs, the Beechcraft Museum is here, and among the aircraft that they have in this museum is the number one Beechcraft aircraft that was ever built. And one of the saddest events ever here in Tullahoma, Tennessee, was back on May the 9th of 2020, when Richard Wayne Pennyman died here at the age of 87. We know him as Little Richard. Please keep your eye on these two objects right at the end of the arrow. And this is the biggest disappointment of the entire trip. These two goats were up here on this little edge grazing. And we stopped and took the other camera and made a lot of photographs, a lot of video. I came back home, I put it all together into really a really nice 
uh, video presentation to insert right here at this uh, part of the trip. And now I can't find them a bit. So these are two goats, a, a Billy and a Nanny. And they're actually looking down saying, I wonder who all those people down there are. Uh, maybe I'll find it someday. You never know. This McMinnville to Waynesboro has gotten to be too long of a film. So we're going to break the trip right here for today and be part one and then we'll do part two uh, will be the very next video.